everyone here i am going to discuss the 754 floating point representation so it is little bit uh, different and you need i need your patience so please listen to me so that you can understand very quickly okay so please focus so here 754 a floating point representation is one type of representation how we are representing floating point here floating point actually there are three parts one is called mantissa another is biased another is normalized mantissa okay sign of the mantissa so here these are the three parts what you have to remember focus on this there are two types of representation one is 32 bit representation another is 64 bit representation you need to remember the number here you can see whenever you are going with 32 bit representation here the sign bit is one bit here also sign bit is one bit because it can be positive it can be negative same rule is here positive means it is zero negative means it is one here this is exponent exponent bit is eight bit here mantissa bit is 23 bit here the exponent bit 11 bit and mantissa is 52 bit this is the standard how we are representing so here is a way of representation and this is the standard as you can see single precision means this is called 32 bit total q1 and sign bit 1 and after that total 30 total this is 30 to 23 this 8 bit is biased this is normalized and this is biased what is this i am coming to example so that you can understand it is easy from the example so that it is a color, colorful representation so that you can understand it please your patience is required by watching oh my god what is this don't think it it is easy it is easy focus on the color within five minutes you can understand very easily so here you can see i am going to convert this number for 85.125 this is the floating point representation first of all i will represent normal binary as you all know 85 means normal binary and 125 how we are representing 0 0.125 multiply into 2 so uh, after that you are getting here 0 0.250 means from here i will take 0 after that 0 0.250 multiply into 2 means you will get here 0 0.500 means here also you will take 2 after that again 0 0.500 multiplied to 2 means you will get here 1.000 here you are getting 1 so that's why you are getting here 0 0 1 this is the way we are representing right so your total in binary you are representing the number like this now what to do now here is the game here the game is that you have to you have to move the point just after one bit this is the one bit just after one bit you have to move the point you are very carefully check it what we are doing where was the point point was here i am moving the point here right so how many bits you are moving that is your exponent means that is your here you are getting that many exponent means here actually you are moving 1 2 3 4 5 6 after 6 bit you are moving this point that's why here you are doing multiply into 2 to the power 6 this to the power 6 is depending how many bits you are moving that is your this bit you are getting that biased exponent how many bits will be there this is the part here you can see the total biased exponent you are going to add the bias value will be 127 that is fixed for single precision and 1023 is the double precision that is also fixed so with the 127 you are going to add this 6 how you got the 6 how many bit you shift to move the point according to that you are getting here total 133 now this 133 you are going to represent in binary number this is your normalized mantissa this 133 you are representing here in binary number right now normalized mantissa is this blue color this blue color actually your normalized mantissa and this green color is your biased exponent okay now together you are writing in this format how 
first beat is sine beat after that exponent after that mantissa so that is we are writing here it is sine beat because it is a positive number as this is a positive number that's why zero here you are writing exponent part that is this green color that's why i use the different color and after that the mantissa part that is this blue color mantissa part came from this blue color after the point from here you got this blue color please focus on the color so that it will be easy for you so first you are getting this exponent then mantissa then after that you are adding some zeros why these zeros are required to complete the 32 bit because either 32 bit or 64 bit how many bits are remaining those bits you are adding here to complete 32 bit after completion you are representing it in hexadecimal number how 4 4 4 4 you are dividing it like this is 4 1 2 3 4 after that again 1 2 3 4 after that again 1 2 3 4 in this way you are dividing this number after dividing you are getting this this is your hexadecimal representation Re divide this in 4 4 4 bit here see that 1 2 3 4 again 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 here again 1 2 3 4 here again 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 4 here 1 2 3 4 here then 1 2 3 4 here then 1 2 3 4 here finally you are getting it right so it is 4 2 this is 4 this is 2 then a a means 10 in hexadecimal a means 10 that you already done so 10 after that 4 then 0 0 this is ultimate your answer Someone will ask you ki in the question ki it is the floating point representation you have to do in 754 floating point you will represent like this way. Simple yes if you are not able to understand just repeat the video once again and focus on the color. Color will help you to understand okay what is going on here I have to write this is sine bit after that exponent after that mantissa. From where I will get the exponent bias plus how many bits I am shifting. Whatever my bits. This is whenever I am coming to the point where I am shifting the point. The point was here I am shifting here. How many bits I have sh shifted 6 bit. That's why 2 to the power 6. That's why bias is 127 for 16 plus 6 you are adding here 133. Like this way it is happening. Whenever I am coming to double precision same way i will represent here only the changes will be where in the biased exponent changes will be there because for the 64 bit bias value will be 1023 these bias values are fixed this is 127 this is 1023 it is fixed so 1023 plus 6 as it is from here i am getting 6 i will get 1029 so this 1029 i will represent in binary number this is my exponent part here i was getting exponent part 133 here i got exponent part 1029 this will be only change mantissa part will be as it is this is the mantissa blue color same mantissa will come here that is as it is no change only the exponent part is changing so after that finally whenever you are writing in double precision here you are getting this number this is the total number okay because the space was not there so this three line is your total number because it is 64 bit representation so first you wrote here the green color that is this one this is your exponent part after that this blue color same blue color is coming here that is your mantissa part then after that you are adding so many zeros to complete the 64 bit after that just divide it into 4444 bit and then represent it into hexadecimal number. So this is your hexadecimal number. I hope it is clear. If it is not clear just pause it think it okay what is going on. Okay just pause it I am clearing this and the pdf is also uploaded. You can go through the pdf just see the color yes how color will help you I am telling you that's why I have represented in color. Now here you can see it was a question of 754 double precision format. Very simple question. Right. Yes. Tell me the answer. 
yes very simple 16 64 bit here this is the question first of all i will suggest you try to do try to do it by yourself pause here think it try to do after that if you are not able to do then go for the solution first try by yourself here be careful see that here this is what 0x0 this is hexadecimal ultimate answer is starting from here don't be confused this is actually the representation of hexadecimal number answer is starting from here okay and be careful about one thing it is negative number negative number means sign bit will be one first bit is sign bit that is one it is not do the don't do the two cos two's complement no need to do here two's complement normal 40 and 1 first convert the 40 in binary then point 1 in binary then same way you will find out the normalized and exponent all that values and sign bit as it is sign bit that's why it will be 1 yes okay so here answer i am showing you what is the answer here you can see minus 40.1 you are going with sign bit that's why negative number so 40 i am doing this one point 1 whenever i am representing see that here be careful previously previous all the number i was adding so many zeros because why because here when you represent this point 1 2 5 actually first it was coming 0.500 after that it was coming 100 if you are multiplying with zero always it will come zero that's why i filled with zero but here it will be not filled with zero this is the very important part because it is 0.1 0.1 you are multiplying with two you will get 0.2 0.2 multiply with two you will get 0.4 0.4 you will multiply with two 0.8 0.8 multiply with 2 you will get 1.6 again 1 0.6 you will multiply with 2 you will get 1.2 again 0.2 it is repeating here ultimately 0.2 you are multiplying you are getting 0.4 see that here ultimately it is a loop again so here you got 0 after that here you got 0 then 0 again 0 then again 0 again here it was one it was one after that it is repeating here so means what this first zero after that whenever you are multiplying this this 0.2 again repeating here so remaining all bit will be repeat here means after this zero again you will get this is the first zero you got after this zero again you will get this 0 0 1 after that again you will get the 0 0 again same way the 0 0 1 will be repeated three zeros after that again three zeros then one this is repeating in this way the repetition of the pattern two zeros ultimately three zero dot here you are repeating the pattern that pattern is repeating here and that's why here you have to add these values i have to add this means whenever you are adding see that first zero after that zero zero one then again 001 again 0001 you are multiplying and after that after giving same way you will do that ki i am sending this bit here so how many bit 1 2 3 4 5 bit you are shifting 5 bit so that's why it is your normalized part and this is your exponent part how many bits you have shifted 5 bit so 127 plus 5 132 you are getting this number So after this this one and this is the mantissa part then from here this zero after that zero zero one one it is the repetition going on here it was one sorry this repetition is going on zero zero one one here again it will be zero zero one one again it will be zero zero one one this is the some mistake i did see that here i am repeating once here actually what is happening understand it properly it is not zero zero here you are doing it ki zero uh, here you will get zero here also you will get zero 0.8 you are multiplying here also you are getting zero 0.8 means it is getting here one here you are getting you one again you are getting here zero means from here this 0.2 repeated here means what is happening if first zero is repeated here then this zero will repeat 
this one will repeat again this one will repeat again 0 0 1 1 the sequence is repeating 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 this pattern will repeat because you will get here again 0 0.4 0 0.8 then 1.6 then 1.2 again 0 0.2 0. Uh, 0 0.4 like that it is repeating right that's why you are getting this pattern that's why you are repeating 0011001011001011 to complete this 34 32 bit always don't think that always it will be 0000 if always remember as the pattern is repeating any time whenever you are doing floating point representation pattern you have to see what is the pattern the pattern is repeating if it is zero ending means zero will repeat that is also pattern when you did here previous question this is also pattern actually all the zeros are repeating because after one point then zero zero so zero will be repeated multiple time but here zero is not repeating here this is repeating be careful so that's why finally you are getting this number c two 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 zero zero six 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 so ultimate your answer is coming this one got it I hope it is clear. So here are some MCQs that you can do as a home task. Uh, I am uploading the PDF. In the PDF, do the home task. And after that, if you have any doubt, then I will explain it in the doubt clearing session. Okay. So bye everyone. I hope your this IEEE754 format is clear. This is the actual um, target of uploading this video so i hope it is clear bye for now we'll meet you in the next class thank you